We are here at the grave of Clover Adams, who committed suicide in December of 1885. The Adams Monument was commissioned by her husband, Henry Adams, and completed by Augustus St. Gaudens in 1891. It is now on the National Register of Historic Places. The most significant piece of funerary art in the nation, the sculptor intended the figure to be neither male nor female, but to include traits of both genders. And he hoped the figure suggested simultaneously both Eastern spirituality, inspired by Chinese Buddhist forms of the Bodhisattva, with something more familiarly Western and Christian. The grave has no names or inscriptions, and because the figure is so mysterious, it has inspired multiple poems, including this one by Leonora Spare. The St. Gaudens statue in Rock Creek Cemetery, Washington. Are there no tears for other hearts to shed? Those heavy eyes have drained the world of grief, and yet no solace found, no drear relief, such as my heart would seek and find, I know, had I been given the weight of that vast woe and wept through pain to peace. But you instead have drowned all healing in a shoreless sea of unforgiven wrong, whose every breath lifts windy clamor through the soul's hushed space, fanning to greater grief, to swifter glow, the flame that smolders still in that bronzed face sadder than life and sadder far than death because of love renounced and joy to be and faith and hope and immortality. Leonora Speyer was born in Washington, D.C. in 1872, the daughter of another writer, Julia von Stosch Scher, and educated in the D.C. public schools and the Brussels Conservatory of Music. Speyer began her career as a concert violinist, performing with the Boston Symphony Orchestra and the New York Philharmonic, as well as orchestras in France, England, and Germany. After living abroad for most of her adult life, she returned to the U.S. with her second husband at the start of World War I. Speyer won the Pulitzer Prize in Poetry for her second book, Fiddler's Farewell. Her other books are Slow Wall, Naked Heel, and A Canopic Jar. Speyer also translated poetry and libretti from German and French, and several of her poems were set to music. A childhood home of hers in the Georgetown neighborhood of D.C. still stands at 1318 30th Street, Northwest.